Hey guys, Principal Comic Book University and Suicide Squad, issue number 26. The team right now is mad maxing it. Like, they got all this awesome armor. Guys, don't forget, you need to have checked out Nightwing, issue number 29, to have any idea as to what's happening now. This is part of Gotham Resistance. This is actually part two. So, part one was in Teen Titans, part two is in Nightwing, and part three is in Suicide Squad this week. <clears throat> Wow, a whole bunch of crazy, crazy, crazy stuff going on. And oh, don't forget to check out uh, Green Arrow next week. That's where this one is going to continue. And it's apparently going to conclude over there, which is fine because the jumping around thing, it gets old fast. <laughs> it gets old fast, especially when you've been reading only one of these series and all of a sudden, hey, yeah, that's that's a lot. And the, the really wicked part is, the, the cool part for me in some ways is that I don't actually read any of these series for the most part. But, uh, so, therefore, so this, this particular run, uh, this, this tie-in event is pretty easy for me to follow along, essentially. They still have some things going on in their own stories. Anyway, for right now, the Teen Titans, they're, they're just, they're driving a school bus with Harley in, in the uh, driver's seat, of course. Damien is, uh, backseat driving, doesn't help them out. They wind up stumbling down into a pit of poison ivy. Yes, not the actual substance, although maybe there might be some down there, but the, the, the female, the character, the, the super villainous dude, she's down there and she's got one of these cards that the Batman Who Laughs has given her. And uh, what do you call it? At, at one point, she's sitting there tearing through these guys, but suddenly Starfire shows up and she starts burning the plant. She's like, listen, uh, I got to deliver these guys to uh, to the, uh, the, the Batman and to Barbados. Yeah, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you down. And she's like, no. I was promised to be able to take care of this stuff, so I'm going to take you down. Well, the entire rest of the Suicide Squad shows up, and also the Teen, uh, the teen Titans and the Suicide Squad total, excuse me, show up, and they start fighting her. Here's the funny part about this. They're all evil. No, 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 seriously, like, they're evil versions of themselves, and it's funny because Green Arrow at one point is like, the evil version of the Suicide Squad? I don't get it. Like, what's the point? <laughs> And he's right. He's totally right. But the the cool part is that yeah, they're they're totally demonized. I'm surprised they're not shouting out crow crow because the the Batman who laughs has taken them over. And there are actually a couple of the crows there also. They took over Goliath, one of them. And it's like, dude, not not cool. And Damien's not happy about that at all. And who could blame him? So Anyway, the uh, Nightwing winds up having a vision, and he sees that Batman has drowned in the metal. Now, I'm sure this is just an allegory because he is being hit with all the metals. He is going to become the door. Nightwing himself is going to wind up becoming the weapon. Yeah, it's wicked. Again, read the whole series description below. Anyway, guys, this particular comic in and of itself, I'm giving it an A+. This is a really good comic. Uh, reading Rob Williams, he seems to have... Everybody, like, I don't know how Green Arrow always in his, is in his own comics. I haven't read it this uh, this season, meaning um, Rebirth. I haven't read Green Arrow for Rebirth. Uh, I hear a lot of really, really, really good things about it. It's just, it's not one of the ones that I've picked up. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, finances. Anyway, so what I am noticing here is that the artist, uh, Stepan Sejic, and if I'm saying your name wrong, sorry, but wow. Wow! This is some of the best art I've seen. Like, this looks like he just sat there and painted the whole damn thing. It looks... And I'm not talking about the old Havoc Wolverine meltdown painting back in the days. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this looks like an actual beautiful painting. The whole comic. It's amazing. I think I'm going to have to start following this guy. Like, legit. So good. In fact, comments below. Anything else you know that he's, he's drawn that's pretty good, that's got a really good storyline also, let me know. I think I'm genuinely going to have to go and check this stuff out. This guy just blew my mind with his art. And wow. So, yeah, that's that. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.